Welcome back everybody. So this is going to be a quick video to give you an update on my uh, board protector project. So as you can see, uh, if you recall the last video, I did show something that looked like this. It was like really basic, kind of thin, and uh, there was like a lot of warpage in some areas. And so I, I used two of those kind of prototypes to send boards to people. Uh, one of them did good, one of them not so much. Uh, so it was clear that that wasn't the final design, it needed to be beefed up. So here's the, the latest iteration. So as you can see, I've added the boss for, uh, so I'm gonna sink in some threaded inserts here, and then I'm gonna design, this is not the, this is still the same cover from the last, the last design. So I'm gonna modify that too, make it flush with the sides and add the bosses, and then that's gonna be fastened and uh, hopefully give a little bit more protection. So, as you can see, it's a lot beefier in the sides, uh, which means there's also a lot more material uh, in it, and also that requires a lot more time to print, unfortunately. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot more time, but it does, does require a bit more time, so. And I also added this rib on the side for a little bit more strength, so that's all around, and, uh, but still has that same ledge here for the board to sit on, so that's nice. And when I was testing some boards, I also noticed that a T17 boards is pretty much the exact same dimension as a S17 Pro board, so that's nice. Didn't actually know that, but uh, it is now, so you can see how nice and tight it fits. I might be able to um, widen it, maybe like one millimeter or something, just so there's so it doesn't rub like that, but. Still, it's still good enough. So the only concern that I have right now is if you look at the space here between the, the heatsink and the the case. So if I if I use like the, the terminals to pull the board out, then there comes a point where the heatsinks touch the case right there, right? So this is kind of like the, the angle that I'm at right now, and you can see that the heat sinks are touching here. So if I were to pull further, then that would put pressure sideways on those heat sinks and they would potentially uh, potentially get ripped off so something that uh, like I mean I I know about that so I'm uh, I'm careful when I do it but I'm afraid that some some people some customers might be in a hurry and just pull on it straight up and then cause some damage so I'm not sure what I can do against that probably nothing really uh, unless I, I cut you know unless I cut this wall here but then I don't know anyway maybe I'll leave him like that for now and just uh, just tell people to be careful so uh, yeah so anyway this is the the latest and greatest for now um, and in the process of doing all those iterations unfortunately the heating element in my in the bed of my 3d printer burnt so I am without a 3d printer for now so I cannot keep uh, keep working on those so that's on ice for now waiting for parts and there's always something it looks like but I've been pretty busy with with boards and, and, and other other jobs so uh, I'm not complaining but anyway more to follow on that thanks a lot for watching